Hello everyone, it's the Doctor and welcome back to our look at the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. It's time for the Voth STFs. This is Breach Elite and we will take the Voth against the Voth in their very own ship. So that should be interesting. I have played this uh, a whole lot actually on the Breach, in the Breach, and um, it's done very well. Now I am pugging this, so uh, no idea what kind of group we'll get or if it will even be any good. I have had uh, several instances lately, and maybe this will annoy you it's as much as it annoys me, of campers, griefers, whatever you want to call them. They uh, sit there and do nothing the entire run and, uh, and uh, let you do all the work, basically. And then, of course, get the reward in the end so they don't even have to play the whole mission. People like that, I recommend reporting them. <laughs> I said that to one person once in uh, one of these runs and he uh, actually uh, left the uh, the map so I guess I scared him off <laughs> I said everybody report this person and uh, and he left <laughs> anyway it looks like this queue is not doing too well it's taking us a long time to uh, to get started here it looks like we're gonna time out on the queue people are not accepting their um, things that are popping up here yep we're gonna time out Lovely. The fifth person was not accepting his queue invite. And now we're down to three. <laughs> uh, this is not going well. And now we're down to two. And now we're down to one. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, back up to two. And we're up to three. And four. Ooh, maybe we're going to get there. Can we get a fifth? Can I get a fifth? Whee! Oh, we're having trouble with that fifth person. Yes, this should start any second now. Yes, there we go, finally. Now if everyone will accept their invites, we'll get this show on the road. There we go. All right, let's hope for the best. These guys picked the wrong system. I've still got the Enterprise F from one of the Tau Dewa patrols. Audio is stuck in there. That happens sometimes. It's a bug. It's an annoying bug, too. Now on this one, I don't need a cloak. There's no enemies or anything. Um, it's just a matter of taking out the hard points and the um, uh, ship nipples on the side and everything. Once you take down all that, uh, then it's just a matter of reaching the hole and uh, ramming inside. What? Oh, is this person... Is this person insane? Defend the king. Well, that's CSE, my friend. And we are in Breach Elite. Weird stuff. People have gone nuts. It's official. 
It's time for everyone to go nuts. I took on a bulwark and won. Guess I really didn't need to do that. <laughs> but I did. And I won. Me and this guy doing these here in the middle, so that's not bad for just two people taking it on. I really didn't have to do that, but hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and him doing these middle ones, so that's pretty good for two people, huh? Not bad. Not bad for two people. The other guys, I guess, are on the outside. I only need one more. I guess I'll go to the front one. I thinking maybe I'll help them on the side, but I don't even know where they're at. They're like way down there somewhere. No, they're way back there. Oh, there they are. Never solo these. <laughs> I'll just uh, give you that word of warning. Oh, I've done it before. But uh, you do blow up.
Yes. These guys picked the wrong system. They sure did. Uh oh, my fire at will is on cooldown. Warning. Ship is under attack. Now, here's where cloak is going to come in handy. We're going to cloak, and we're going to close the hangars. This is something that I like to do because a lot of people like to come in here and just fight and they ignore the hangers, but um, that's where you go wrong. I'll close all the hangers. That's the very first thing I'm going to do. And I'll, I'm going to save the ships. I always follow the same pattern. Now we can save these two ships over here real easy. Send rescue team and then close hangar. That's all you gotta do. And you get the optionals. Send rescue team. Close hangar. And being a tank really helps here. There we go. And I see somebody else to the other side, so we're good. Awesome. Now we can just go to town. Here's where it gets tricky with this ship. These corridors are very narrow. Well, not narrow, but the uh, turn, the the angles are very sharp. So um, trying to turn like this, I can barely make it. And in fact, sometimes I can't, and oftentimes I run into the walls. This time I made it, but wow. Sometimes I don't. That's pretty difficult and tough in a ship that moves as slow. Now on these guys, remember, you can save them before you attack the mob. So you come down here and send rescue team, then attack the mob, and the ship will help fight. My side's done. So, white horse. Looks like we have a camper. See, this is what I hate. If I'm correct, white horse is nowhere near us. He's outside the ship. Yeah, he's not even playing. And, um, so this is what I hate. is We get griefers or campers that, um, 
leech off of everybody else's work. Um, and White Horse here is doing exactly that. He's not doing a single thing to help These us. These guys picked the wrong system. He's just leeching off of our work. He's griefing us. And that's terrible behavior. He needs to be banned. So there we go, that's what I do when I see that, as I post that there, just uh, hopefully people will, re will report him. That's about the best you can do. Really no nothing else. Well, buddy, you're on video now for camping. How do you like that, Mr. Um, uh, White Horse? I was trying to get his at name. Private message. There you go. White horse at tyrant with an E and then a big R. There you go. Report him. Have at it. There's his name. That's what you get when you grief us. You get publicized on YouTube for being a penis to all your teammates. Go on. A lesson to all you griefers out there. If I see you, you're in my video and you're in my thing, I'll report you and I will put you into public view so that everybody will see what you're doing, sir. It's such disrespectful behavior to do that to your teammates. So disrespectful. This mission takes long enough already. I mean, it's a long, it's a long STF. When you have to four man it or even three man it, which I've done before, it really takes a long time. It's just, it's, it's not right, people. It's not right, not right behavior. Warning: ship is under attack. Target shields have failed.
turn. Oh, I can't turn. My things are, are on cooldown. Turning this thing, yeah, it's trouble. So there's a little situation you can get yourself into and trying to get around these things. Come on, there we go. Ugh, takes a while. it'll be this back one of course never a guarantee I don't know how the pattern on this thing works it's not the middle one guys come on stop shooting at it thanks a lot last part of Breach Elite. So as you can see, I think we've proven by now anyway, uh, despite team problems and all that jazz, that the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser is a really nice ship. If you have a chance to get it and you're an engineer and you want a really good cruiser or a really good tank, this is a really good uh, um, uh, ship right here. I mean, yeah. this mission except for white horse you get a demotion <laughs> so there you go once again white horse at tyrant e with a capital r all right well that was a good look at the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser in Breach Elite. And even though we four manned it, which is really easy in this mission, it's not that it's hard or anything, it just takes longer. Um, this was a good look, and we see that this ship did really well. Um, 
The uh, biggest problem in this particular SDF is just moving around the corridors with this ship, trying to turn with those tight angles that it has These down the corridors. These guys picked the wrong system. That's the only uh, difficult problem. Other than that, this ship does really well against all that, so very good. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to pause again, and I'm going to queue up for the last Voth SDF. We'll do the Spire, Storming the Spire, which is very boring, but it really puts our ship up against a whole lot of Voth ships. So we will do that when I come back. So um, uh, hold on just a second. And I'm back. That did not take long at all. I literally loaded up the queue, hit join, and bam, got one immediately. So here we go, right into Storming the Spire Elite. And again, this is the boring one. I know it's boring for you, it's boring for me, it's boring for everyone. And you don't get as many Dyson marks off of it because people don't know what to do. But anyway, it's something, usually I average around 24 to 30 Dyson marks. So it's not a lot, but it helps add to the pool of Dyson marks that I need anyway. So I end up usually doing it even though it's long and boring, just so I can get a few more Dyson marks. All right, we'll launch my fighters and we'll cloak. Get ready, full impulse. When the timer goes, we will do our usual pattern. I like to head to the left, I take out everything. I come this way, take out everything, and then come here. I like to protect this docking port right here. This is my home, I make him my home. <laughs> Everyone does it differently, but I like to stay in one area and try to defend one port and uh, keep all the transports safe that come into it. Three, two, one, and go! These guys picked the wrong system. Seems like I've got the audio from the Enterprise F and Tau Dewa. Uh, looping for some reason, some kind of audio bug. That happens sometimes. the other side and we'll protect these guys this picked the wrong here. system Cleared this area, ready for transports. And there's the transport. Just gotta defend it, basically. Clear the platform first. So we should have a big Voth ship come up on us here. 
when it lands, we will get one of the um, something here, over here. There it is. The Bastion Cruiser. It's another me! that aceton generator with one hit of my gravimetric torpedo. That's one of its abilities, is that it will take down Voth acetone generators um, with uh, one shot. I think my transport worked. I'm not sure. <laughs> Might have blown up. I didn't see it. I wasn't watching it. Yeah, I got a lot of ships on me. It's a lot of ships. It's a lot of ships. But, you know, I, I can tank these things easy in this ship. Almost 70,000 hull. Okay, another transport doing his thing. Let's see if we can protect it this time. Doing our best anyway. Time to rest. Okay, there's another transport. There it goes. Let's see if we can protect it this time. Ninety-five. I mean, it's not terrible. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. All right, one oh five now. Okay. okay. Thanks, dude. But aren't you? 
protecting a docking thing of your own. It's not. People like to go attack the bulwark, and I think he's going to go attack it, but it's pointless to do that. I mean, that doesn't achieve anything. You need to protect the transports. That's the whole point here. <laughs> People just want to fight. They need to make an STF where you just fight, and there's no tactics involved. There's no skill involved. You, you don't have to protect transports. There's no... There's no... Um, objective. The only objective is kill everything. No puzzles, nothing. Just mindless killing. Everyone's trying to go fight the bulwark and they're ignoring the transports. Seriously, dudes. We're at one forty five. This bulwark is in my territory. Might have to take him out because um, he is right up on me. Go grab torpedo, go, yes. Boy, that thing is awesome. Alright, now everybody knows by now, right? The shuttles is where you should go for. So what I will do is position myself in a way that I can reach shuttles from there and from here. I will be able to take out two groups of shuttles at once. Just like that. This is the sweet spot, and from here you can get shuttles from this one and this one. If you have a beam ship. See, that's what people need to do is get two people back here and can do all four of these docking things. Because just all it takes is one person sitting right here and they can get two of them. So if you put another guy on that side, he can take care of those two. You can get every single shuttle just with two guys, really. They have no chance of taking down that dreadnought just themselves. You would need the entire team there to do that. So there's just no point in that. You've got to know what's going on around you. Look around, see what other people are doing, and adapt. Just like the board.
It don't matter. Three people on the dread, you still won't get them. Get it? Two won't work. Three won't work. Four? Not in the time we have. See, it gives you very limited time. That's really the problem is the time limit they give you to take down the dreadnought. You really need all five team, team members to take it down within the time limit. But you get more points with a shuttle, so there's no point. If you, if you destroyed every single shuttle and didn't miss one, you would get way more points with the shuttles. Way more. And it's possible to take everyone down. As you can see, it's very easy. Gotta strategize. Stratamagize. Stretchercise. Your stratamagize. They don't even have the shields down on that thing. No hope. Waste of time. Five, four, three, two, one, and Seacrest out. 130 points. That's really good. I've seen a lot worse, let me tell you. Anyway, there's some pointers on that. Anyway, but what we're here for is all about the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. And I gotta say, thumbs up from the Doctor. Thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, thumb up. I do enjoy this ship. Now, is it my favorite cruiser in the game? By It is not my favorite cruiser, but it is close at this point to my favorite cru cruiser in uh, in this game. Of course there's escorts and there's you know flat out there's really big flight deck cruisers and um, battleships uh, just all types of different things. Size ships and all that. Uh, on an engineering character if you want to tank and you want to take the pressure off of other people in, in your team um, this is a good ship for it. It has a lot of abilities and uh, if you combine, remember you combine these two, you get that uh, Voth Cloak, but you also get that Voth Reinforced Hull, again leaning toward its, you know, um, uh, tanking abilities. But it also is powerful. It has, it has four forward and four rear weapon slots. So that means it's a, a powerful beam ship. Four forward and four rear. Think about that. You know that's a that's 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 a lot of opportunities for some powerful beams there, and uh, really building it up that way. So um, it has potential. Again, it's a lockbox ship, but it's also available in the low buy store. And again, you don't get the Voth cloak or the reinforced hull unless you have also the Palisade Science ship because you need the Aceton console from it to put on this ship to get that bonus. And if you just happen to have a bulwark, you could also take the console from it, combine it, and get a battle cloak with that. But as it is, we don't have a battle cloak, but we do have the immunity uh, shield, which the um, reflective immunity matrix, which I have really enjoyed. That's a really good shield to use. Um, so that's my thorough, in-depth look at the Voth Bastion Flight Deck Cruiser. After a whole lot of time and using it, I definitely do like it. I changed my opinion from the first time I used it. It's a good cruiser. And um, if, uh, if, if, if I didn't have other ships to, uh, to, to check out and try right now, I would keep it on this character. But as usual, I've got to cycle through more ships and try more things. <laughs> But now that I have this ship, it's one that I would come back to on this character and possibly leave as my main ship. Possibly, I say, because I really like the Armitage a lot. Um, that's kind of my favorite Federation hangar. And I have the Fleet Armitage, too, which is really nice. It's got a hangar bay. You can put cannons on it. Um, it's really my favorite kind of cruiser hangar engineering ship. 
Um, but this falls right under that for sure. Very exciting and easy and fun to use. Um, so there you go. There's a look at it if you've never seen it or you wanted to know what it's like and what it does and what it can do. Now hopefully you have. So uh, as always, I thank you all so much for watching these videos. Uh, there will be more. The next ship I've got is the Palisade Science, the Voth Palisade Science one. So uh, we'll go straight from the Voth cruiser here to a Voth Science ship and see what a science ship can do on the Voth side. Alright, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next.